Hey guys, it's Jordan and welcome back. So today I have a favourites video for you, which I know you have all been dying to see. There is a bunch of makeup, so that's probably what the majority will be, but I do have a couple of skincare bits. And also I have kind of switched up the background a bit. I saw in a couple of my videos you guys have been asking me, um to kind of maybe have a little bit more of an interesting background. So this is probably the most interesting bit in my room. I tried. Let me know what you guys prefer. Do you prefer this background? Do you prefer the white background that I have normally? This does need sorting out though. My desk and my makeup seriously need sorting out, but <sighs> that's gonna be a task. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna stop rubbing on, otherwise we'll be here forever. So if you guys wanna see what I've been loving this month, just keep watching. So we're gonna start with skincare and this is my first favorite. <laughs> Probably all like, what the hell is this? So these are the brand new Body Shop Superfood masks that I have been obsessed with. Like these are so good. I mean, I like masks, but I never have found one where I actually feel like it makes a difference to my skin. But these I actually notice. So of course, first of all, I just wanna say, um. I was sent these, which is why they're in like fancy packaging, but in no way does that influence my opinion on a product because, uh, well, at the end of the day, if I don't like a product, I don't like it, full stop, you know? But of course, I have been loving them, which is why they're in my favourite. So, there is five masks in the collection, so you are bound to find one for your skin type and for your skin needs. They are 100% vegetarian and three of them are even 100% vegan, which is so nice to know. And they are also free from a bunch of crap, like parabens silicone basically the stuff you don't really need in a mask i'll just run through them all quickly so if you guys are interested in getting one then you kind of know what ones you want to get i guess so the first one is the amazonian akai i think that's how you say it mask so this one is the energizing mask so if you feel like your skin just needs a bit of a boost or for it to appear a little bit more radiant so it's a little bit dull looking pick up that one because it's so good at that it smells amazing as well and it actually looks like strawberry jam the next one after that is the Utopian Honey. I don't like the smell of this because I hate the smell of honey and it literally looks like honey as well. This one is the nourishing one so it leaves your skin feeling really like nice and soft and supple and your skin actually feels more comforted. So if you suffer from dry skin, you will probably love this one because it's really intense for nourishment. The one after that, this is one of my favorites and it's actually really interesting. I've never heard of anything like this. This is the Chinese Ginseng and Rice Mask. So this one is the brightening one. So if you suffer from any kind of dullness, discoloration, unevenness, things like that, this really helps with that. I've had a bit of redness on my cheeks, not sure why, um, but this has really calmed that down. So then there is a British rose one. Again, I don't like the smell of this because I don't like rose scented things. They kind of give me a headache. Like, is that weird? This one is the hydrating one and it leaves your skin feeling so moisturized, looking really glowy and dewy as well. So it just overall makes your skin look really healthy. Then the last one, which again is another favorite because it's the Himalayan charcoal. I love anything charcoal because I feel like it really kind of cleanses my skin out thoroughly. This one is the detoxifying one. So it helps remove all the impurities and toxins and gross stuff that's in your skin. It really just gets rid of it. So your skin is feeling like at its best, at its cleanest. It just really gets in there and unclogs your skin. And you can actually see when you use this one, all the little like dots where the impurities have literally been pulled out, which I love because I feel like it's actually working then. Ugh, I'm gonna put these down now because my arm is aching. But no, I've just been loving those. It's so refreshing to see a company bring out a load of masks to cater for different skin types and also that are free from a bunch of stuff. They also do this thing called multi-masking, which I just think this is such a good idea. It's basically where you can use two or three masks on your face at once, and um, because I'm sure we all have different problems in different areas, so that is such a cool idea. I don't know, I just feel like my skin has just been so like, mm this month. So my next skincare favourite have been these. These are the Spotless Skincare Nose Pore Strips. I got mine from Wilkinson's and I think that's the only place you can get them because I think they are sort of like a Wilkinson's brand. So if you live in the UK. Like I have tried my fair share of pore strips and I can honestly say that these have worked the best for me. And the best part about it is you get six of them and they're only a pound. You can use these on your nose, chin, forehead, anywhere that you suffer from like blackheads. It really just pours out. I'm kind of gross. I find it so satisfying when you peel off that nose strip and you look at it and you can see all the little blackheads that have been pulled out. <laughs> I know that some of you find it satisfying as well. Like it's not just me. <laughs> I got my mum using these as well because we was out shopping and I was like, you need to pick these up as well, mum, because they're so good. So... 
I've got her using them too. <laughs> so if you're looking for some good pore strips, then check out these ones because they're my favorite. So now we are gonna move on to some makeup favorites, the bit I know you've all been waiting for. So this is the first makeup favorite I have. This is the Benefit Cabral. I wanted to share this with you guys because I'm pretty much... This is the only thing I've been using on my brows the entire month and it is just my favorite. It is like smudge proof, budge proof, waterproof freaking bulletproof no but honestly though it does not move off of my brows so i'm not worried about like losing a brow halfway through the day it is just like a cream gel pomade kind of texture um and i'm in the number three in case any of you were wondering but um what is cool as well is you can actually pop off the top and put it back in and you actually have yourself a little angled brush as well which i think is so good so it is definitely worth the money because you get a pomade and a brush in one. And the packaging though, oh, I love it. It is super easy to use as well. I find that it's pigmented, but like the right pigmentation so you can build up the intensity that you like, which is awesome. The New Benefit Brow Range is so good. I was so tempted to get the uh, pencil as well, but I was like, no, Jordan, just get the Cabral. Let's just walk away from this Benefit stand before you buy everything. <laughs> My bank account hates me enough as it is. But no, I've been loving this, so. So these have to be a favorite lip item for me this month because I've just not put them down. These are the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipsticks. First of all, I have to say the color range I think was literally made for me. If I was a lipstick color, it would be these. <laughs> I have five out of, I think there's 12. I don't know why I don't have them all. Um, but some of my favorites have been Satin Ribbon, which I'm actually wearing today with um, one of my favorite lip liners which i'll show you in a second and also bedtime flirt which is like a darker pink version of it so i just swatched them both for you this is satin ribbon and this one is bedtime flirt oh i just love them what i also like about them as well is the texture they're kind of more of a mousse texture as opposed to liquid which I actually really like because I find them to be a bit thicker, meaning they're a bit more opaque. They can be a teeny bit drying. When I first used them, I noticed that they were quite drying, but because I've worn them so much now, I literally never even realise anymore. They also last a really long time on me as well, which is really good. So, um, no, I've been obsessed with these. Also, they do dry down matte as well. I may as well share one of my favourite lip liners ever because it goes with so many colours and I've been wearing this all the time. I'm wearing it today with um, that satin ribbon liquid lipstick but this is the nyx retractable lip liner in the color oh my god i don't in the color what is the color nude i love the fact that it's retractable as well because i don't have to sharpen in it because i hate doing that it's just such a pain in the butt honestly i actually wear this on its own sometimes but it is more of like a mauvey color Ugh, I just love it. These are so easy to use, really creamy, go on really smoothly, last a really long time, don't dry out my lips. This is such a versatile lip liner. It goes with so many of my nudes. It's like the perfect in between. It's not too light, not too dark. Love it. <laughs> now for eyeshadows. These have been the only eyeshadows that I've been reaching for this month pretty much because they are freaking amazing. A lot of people love them. These are the Makeup Geek ones and I know I'm so late on the bandwagon with these, but honestly, I don't care. <laughs> These are honestly the most pigmented, most easy to work with eyeshadows that I have ever used. And Corrupt here, which is the black eyeshadow. Oh my god. <laughs> I have never known a black eyeshadow to be this pigmented in my entire life. Look, I will barely even touch it. Sorry, what? <laughs> that's just a few of the other eyeshadow swatched as well. Honestly, they're so creamy and buttery. I know everyone uses them descriptions for eyeshadows, but it's true. I also have these ones as well. Like, first of all, how cute is this little Z palette? It's actually from Makeup Geek. It's just like mirrored. And then there's actually a mirror inside as well. I love it. These are some of their foiled eyeshadows as well, which, by the way, are just as pigmented, but like, they're super metallic. So my go-to eyeshadows for this month have definitely been Makeup Geek for sure. And I'm sure they're gonna be my go-to for months to come. And I'm definitely ordering some more of these. So this month I have really been getting into color correcting. Nothing crazy, um, but I've been using these LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealers. So um, I have the sort of original concealer, a contour shade, and two of their color correctors as well. I think to be honest, my two favorites will have to be the concealer and the orange corrector Ugh. to be honest i've never really been big on color correcting and never thought it really made that much of a difference but i've been using this orange concealer underneath my eyes and 
honestly it helps with the darkness so much i never see any dark color under there anymore at all this is so pigmented so you literally only need the smallest amount so it will last you so long honestly this is the one i've been reaching for the most i do also really like the urban decay naked skin color corrector this is in the peach one again it's literally just as pigmented it's more of a liquidy formula then over the top i've been using the same concealer but in the porcelain shade these are like a little match made in heaven you guys they're both really pigmented both really easy to blend the concealer has really good coverage it's quite thick but it has really good coverage doesn't look cakey or heavy underneath my eyes i have just been loving them i got mine from ebay i think for like three pounds each so so freaking affordable so i have another little favorite here again it is very affordable this is the primark ps liquid eyeliner in black this is one pound now i'll be honest i didn't have much hope when i picked this up i kind of felt like primark like not that i'm judgmental or anything but you just don't expect a pound eyeliner to be your favorite <laughs> but this is probably my favorite liquid eyeliner that i have ever used it's honestly really pigmented it's super black the little brush inside makes it super easy to apply as well it doesn't smudge doesn't flake off doesn't fade on me it literally lasts the entire day honestly i found my favorite liquid eyeliner i think and i already have a spare in my drawer because your girl's prepped <laughs> look how black that is Ooh. the primark eyeliner i was talking about look it's dried and it does not budge. Of course, this has to be in my favourites because uh, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Sun Dipped. These are honestly incredible. They are so pigmented and have the most amazing kind of sheen to them. So they don't look powdery or anything on the skin. And I love the fact that you get four um, different highlighters as well to cater for like different skin tones. And I can actually use every single one of these. I actually use this bronzed one here to blend in my um, like highlight shade and my blush less bronzer together. And it just creates the most like beautiful like glow to your skin. It is definitely worth purchasing. You get four huge pans and every single one is just as amazing as each other. So um, I just wanted to include this in. I know we've all heard about it, but so now I want to show you guys some of my favorite beauty tools this month. So the first one I have is this little blue sponge, which I'm not going to hold up for too long because it's gross. <laughs> I use it like every day, so. But I do wash them before anybody says. I actually have some more of these in that little jar there because again, I am prepped with the backups. I used this in my back to school video and a lot of you were asking where this is from and it's from Primark. I feel like I found another little underdog product from Primark. It's so soft, so it doesn't feel like I'm beating my face. When I run this underneath the tap, it does expand, which is amazing because it means that I won't absorb all of your foundation. Um, it just blends everything out really quickly because it's quite big as well and really nicely. And I find I get such a nice finish with this sponge. I have never used a real beauty blender, but quite honestly, I don't think I ever will because this sponge does exactly what I want it to. So what's the point of forking out for a sponge when you can get one like this which in my opinion is probably just as good but i found this sponge this month and i've been using it every day since for my foundation this is my kind of last little beauty tool this is the sigma e38 this is the diffused crease brush this is such an amazing like eye blending brush i love the shape of it it's kind of like thinner than normal so you can really get into the crease because i have quite small eyes so this gets into the crease and doesn't like put it all over my lid or anything like that also the bristles pick up the perfect amount of product and it just blends out so well so they are all my favorites for this month i apologize if it was a little bit long also in the comments below i want you guys to say what your favorite products have been this month or even some of your holy grail makeup items because then we can all kind of scroll through and see what things that we need in our life so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe while you're here i love you guys and i'll see you in my next one bye <laughs>